The Developments Indicator Daily Show highlights the Kuwait Development Plan that aims to fulfill the desire of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah to make Kuwait a trade and financial center through seven strategic goals that will result in the increase of the total local revenues while diversifying its sources. The plan also aims to enhance human development, create jobs, and widen the spectrum of scientific research and technological improvement. The Ministry of Education Headquarters project is one of the largest state projects with a vast area of 40,000 square meters and a building area of approximately 250,000 square meters and is located in the province of Hawalli. The design idea of the Ministry of Education building is inspired from El Boom, which is a sailing ship in the Arabian Gulf. It embodies the Kuwaiti history and tradition, which is full of fishing, maritime trade and building ships. The Ministry of Education headquarters is located in the governmental zone in South Surra. The zone was allocated by the government to move the key ministries outside Kuwait, thus reduce the traffic intensity and create a better working environment for employees. The latest technologies have been used to comply with international building codes when designing project building services, including structural, electoral, mechanical, sanitary, fire protection and other specialized systems. The arrival area in the south end of the building is wide enough to receive visitors and employees who are dropped off at the entrance. The VIP drop-off, reception and parking lots are located in the northeastern end of the ground floor. They overlook an open yard with trees and plants. The Ministry of Education headquarters building includes two arched buildings of glass and metal resting on a two-story base covered with stone. The chosen construction materials are glass, metal and stone due to their magnificent appearance and sustainable solidity and durability. The two buildings, metaphorically El Boom, are distinguished by the difference in their heights. The first is a 9-storey building, while the second is an 11-storey building. Both buildings are inclined outwards, away from the stone base, giving the impression that the building is floating above the ground. The Ministry of Education headquarters building contains private and public areas, which are comfortable and practical. These enable the Ministry of Education to achieve its mission in the development of teaching and learning methods to provide education for all citizens in Kuwait. The Ministry of Education headquarters building yard provides the perfect place for organizing events, activities and special programs. This contributes to supporting the Ministry of Education in showing its programs, educational achievements, in addition to celebrating the culture, heritage and achievements of Kuwait. The completion percentage of the project is 100%. The cost of the Ministry of Education headquarters project is 76 million and 800,000 Kuwaiti dinars. The Ministry of Education headquarters building in Kuwait will be a unique state-of-the-art office facility for the Ministry and eight sectors with their departments. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding the Ministry of Education new building. From News KTV account, the new Ministry of Education building a unique architect. And from Min account, completion of the new Ministry of Education building and the opening is soon. And here from Naba El Kuwait account, the new building is now ready. The official opening is soon, especially after the Minister of Education, Dr. Hamid Al Azmi, and all the education agents inspected the building in the south of Surah area on Tuesday. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development projects, please visit the website on the screen.
The Central Bank of Kuwait hosted the 71st meeting of the Governors Committee of the Monetary and Central Banks of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. Attendance of the governors was complete. The Central Bank of Kuwait Governor Dr. Mohammed Al Hashil, in his very gracious welcoming speech, expressed his gratitude for this opportunity, thanking His Highness the Amir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, and dignified governors for their attendance to discuss the many matters and concerns that share commonness with the continuous impact the financial industry faces as a result of variations in oil prices, development or hindrance in the commercial and economic industries, enhancement of current finance-related strategies would benefit future projections for the countries concerned, bearing in mind first and foremost the well-being of the people. Members of the committee were clearly delighted and felt the overall confidence and optimism to proceed accordingly.